like same like there was this article i've actually saw let me see if i can get it up about that um influencer that was on um there we go yeah there's an article that i read recently right about this influencer that said that she was on a diet of uh, tapas and cocaine which i fucking loved i fucking loved and why do i love that because for 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 once someone's being honest and saying what it really tastes because sometimes you know you read some of these accounts or these Again, because I'm not a girl, I don't know what it must feel like if you're a female and you're seeing influencers and stuff talk about how they kind of get around, how they kind of spec out their day, what they do in order to kind of get their things done and, you know, all that selling stuff, stuff online stuff. Because, you know, influencer status and all that sort of stuff, especially when it comes to health and beauty, it is a particular niche, right? You, It, it does require, you, you have to have these entry requirements before you even start. It's like when you're trying to apply for a good uni, right? You can't, you just need a certain amount of ACAS points, even just to being considered for that fucking role, right? For the fucking um, position in that place. Unless you've got those ACAS points, you ain't getting nowhere near it. So sometimes I feel like, there might be a bit of delusion or there might be a little bit of lack of understanding of where exactly you fall on the fucking scale of hotness or attractive or whatever it may be for those kind of jobs because unfortunately or fortunately you know if it's an influencer thing that's to do with you posting pictures of your avocado toast and your workout regime that involves you having to squat and show us your ass then it is it is it is probably um something that you can glean that you're gonna be you know some level of attractiveness you're gonna have some sort of look about you there are these things that you need even before you get started into understanding how social media works but i'm also glad to see like you know just a bit more honesty and even if you are someone that isn't that attractive it's just there's a lot more work to be done in order to kind of get to the level you're doing and i love this article that was i saw the other day on yahoo news about this influencer and her name is what's her name ruby tuesday matthews which you know you can't get a more influencer fucking social media name than ruby tuesday matthews right absolutely insane isn't it <laughs> that kind of name but anyway so she made this post i think it was on the instagram post and this article on yahoo news actually i'll get up on your screen you guys will see so this is the article it says influencer says she was on a tapas and cocaine diet to stay thin and here's why that's not healthy imagine having to say dash here's why that's not healthy um we know that my dear but anyway so the article starts here australian model ruby tuesday matthews of course she's australian of fucking course um is opening up about how she maintained a slim figure before having two cho- her two children um the 25 year old oh two kids are 25 god damn it well done girl um took to her instagram to answer questions from her over 193,000 followers when the conversations took a candid turn when asked about how she was so skinny before having kids matthews gives a sh- uh, shocking response i did a lot of cocaine like a lot she said in the video so basically i just smoked cigarettes had long blacks and did coke and in between had tapas like my life was tapas and cocaine that sounds nice before explaining that it was an addiction <laughs> um, a lot of people never really understood like how i could eat and still be so thin but i guess it's pretty easy to hide an addiction people um uh, like people don't really realize how easy it is to hide something whether it's addiction depression or anxiety which is fucking very true so that's obviously you know pictures of her and i guess if you kind of scroll down here, there's a picture here that shows you know for anyone that's worked out, there's a picture here of Ruby Tuesday Matthews uh, sipping a, I think, I don't know, was that Pellegrini? Or whatever that drink is, wearing a bathing suit. And she bonely, bone skinny thin, right? You can see all her bones popping out from her hips, her elbows. And if anyone that's worked out, anyone that's done a fair amount of recreational drugs, you would know what the difference is between someone that's like, you know, class A drug skinny from not eating and just being out all the time and somebody that's skinny from working out and that isn't skinny from working out that's like you know that's you can tell that the gaunt sort of like dryness of her skin even though she's got suntan she's probably got good cream on and shit and she probably smells amazing you can just tell the dryness and the gauntness of her skin and how the fucking skin is wrapping around her bones that is straight up um um, kind of class a drugs addiction um type of skinny it's the same sort of skinny you see people when they kind of do um when they cut weight between fights, right? MMA fights and boxers, same sort of thing. And that's, you know, depriving yourself of certain nutrients, uh, making sure you're not drinking, them, l- limiting the amount of liquids inside your body, blah, 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 blah. But I'm happy just to see the kind of um, honesty of it kind of come forward, you know? Like, look, this is what is required for these people. Like, there's no other way they, they can do it. I remember I mentioned before that that study that says, um, I think uh, Dr. Rhonda Patrick mentioned it on the Joe Rogan podcast about, you know, the study that says that, you know, most mothers, expecting mothers that are going to, give birth soon if they can maintain a certain amount a certain level of weight or make sure they're not getting too fat whilst they get whilst they're pregnant before delivery they increase the chances of their child not also not being overweight or obese but if the woman decides to go off the rail and decides to eat whatever she wants and gains an, an obscene amount of weight it's more likely or not you're going to pass that that kind of like um tendency to gain weight or to be fat from the offset into the dna when before the child's born which is fucking nuts but yeah this is what it takes to be what it what you want to be in these influencer circles and most people just don't want to do that 
right? I think people don't mind being like Ruby Tuesday Matthews. They don't mind having this kind of like gaunt, skinny look with the kind of rib case showing. But no one really wants to not eat and just do coke and just do whatever. And let, let's take out the drugs, right? Let's just imagine, you know, for the most part, most of these girls, especially influencer girls that I see on Instagram doing the workouts, you can just tell. They don't eat, right? They just don't eat. If you just don't eat and you kind of limit the amount you eat and you maybe walk a lot more and you go hiking three or four times a day in LA, you're going to lose the weight. You're going to be skinny, right? But you're going to lose muscle mass. That's what you see a lot with those kind of girls, right? They're just very gaunt, very skinny arms, no muscle mass because, you know, essentially you want to look hot and skinny in order to kind of promote your social media. And again, no judgment on my end, but that's what you need to do in order to kind of be that person. There's no other way around to no other way around to doing it. The other way to do it is to do it the healthy way, which is even more work, right? That's counting your macros. That's having a rock solid diet plan. That's having making sure that you're working out five to six, seven times a week, right? That's tweaking your kind of workout plan in consider um, independent on how your body feels. That's sleeping a lot. There's loads of these things. Um, that's nutrition. So that's supplement. It's so much work to do. Whether it's the unhealthy end of it, cocaine and tapas, and whether it's the healthy end of it of working out, making sure you have a rock solid a uh, diet plan and you sleep at least six to seven six to seven to eight hours a day, it's a lot of work to be done. And I just think now again, the older I've got, I've started to realise that people just don't want to do that. It's just too much effort. I'd rather a regular person, why would you want to do that? Why would you want to put yourself through that heartache? For what? Do you know what I mean? Like, you might as well just carry on doing what you're doing, look forward to the weekends, get paid, go on your little holidays, go to a festival here or there, take out your partner to a, a, a nice restaurant and just carry on. I think that's what I've realised in my in my age. You know, people just, you know... And I get it, I have sympathy for it. I think before I might have been a bit more judgy and be like, oh my God, you should try to reach your potential, do something. And it's like, no, why? Why would I do that? Like, why would I do that? I just want to chill. I just want to chill. It's too much work. And again, social media is a good thing because we get to see it in real life. Like this is what's necessary, especially now in model in model season, fashion week season. If you follow good, if you follow all the biggest paid models, whether they're male or female, their schedule must look nuts, right? They're going from New York to London to Milan to sorry, to Florence to Milan to Paris back again. Do you know what I mean? They might, they might go to they might go to Japan for Tokyo Fashion Week. Well, that's it's just like it's insane. It just doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. And then, right, and then in the same sort of time, there's CrossFit season coming up, right? Wallapalooza, CrossFit Games, a few other uh, CrossFit-based um, uh, uh, workout competition things are happening. It's just a r- brutal schedule. And that's outside of whatever you do day-to-day. Outside of day-to-day. Just insane. And even the even having to like just get your friends to take a picture of you, of your outfit on the Instagram machine, just requires so much work, man. You know what I mean? Get outfits done borrow clothes, email people for collaborations. I just get it. Some people just don't want to do it. It's just a lot of work. Again, as I'm saying, I'm understanding it now. The more older I get, it's like people just don't want to do the work. But it's just too much to do. It's-